All right, we have triangle armbar submissions, and we're going to go over tactics for little guys in the absolute division. All right, this is probably one of my most requested matches to give commentary on. This is when Smitty Witt went against a 350 pound dude. The commentary is finally here. Yes, I did ask him. He weighed that much, and he felt like it too. <laughs> but let me explain to you guys the ideas the tactics and the luck that came into it and a little bit of skill too i'll say luck and skill came into play we're gonna start this over let's begin so it's no overstatement this guy was very very huge i have never seen anyone this big and immediately for the opening stage you see i'm trying to play around and see what his strength feels like and immediately i feel that he's a lot stronger than me with the grips and once he picked me up i tried to go for a guillotine let's go back by the way, slams are legal here, so he very well could have slammed me, but you see I immediately started going for under his neck, and if he would have kept elevating me, I felt like I probably would have been able to get under him, but you see he just immediately launched me off, and then I go straight into open guard. And let's pause this right quick. Oh, by the way, if you do not like me doing all these pauses, it kind of sucks for you because this match has been out. I've done highlights and I've done video with the live footage. It's out there. It's on my page. I'll probably repost it again for you guys, but just an FYI. But let me go into the breakdown of Smitty 7 Elements of Jiu-Jitsu. So for Smitty 7 Elements of Jiu-Jitsu, number one is the opening, which is who's going to determine who's on top or bottom. And once you get the determination of who's on top or bottom, that's when you go into number two and three, which is strategy and tactics. So because I am on the bottom and typically when you are dealing with large opponents in the absolute division, if you're a small guy like me, I'm like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, 145 pounds you're going to be on the bottom most of the time. So you have to be very confident in your bottom game. So now that I'm on the ground and he's on top, you're going to see the guard play that I attempted to work. And we are in open guard. Now, I know it looks like to some people that we're in half guard, but I was playing open guard. I'm just letting you guys know that's what I was playing. I was trying to get my left knee across his body so I can go for a leg lock. But what I have never experience was his belly was in the way <laughs> his belly was in the way and i decided okay let me try to go for close guard and once again his belly was in the way i was like okay this is a problem let me try to go back for the leg lock so now that i explained this you can see the nuances of what i was actually going for by the way i actually jumped with him when he picked me up i was trying to get to his neck but understand there's different types of guards you have close guard for a big guy like this clearly it didn't work half guard some people say half guard is really good in the open guard right now because i'm flat on my back this is essentially supine guard if you're sitting on your butt that's seated guard there's two types of open guards and if you're small like i am and you're going against bigger dudes i hate that i'm actually giving the game away for free because <laughs> i know some big guys are going to watch this when they finally deal with me they're going to try to avoid this but you have to be consistently moving i know it looks like i'm not moving a lot but trust me i am consistently moving i'm trying to make sure he doesn't settle his weight on me that's the problem a lot of small guys when they deal with these large opponents they sit in one spot you cannot sit in one spot you cannot settle and that's what I was doing right here. And open guard, in my opinion, is best for these really, really large opponents. So here we go. This is where he messed up at. Here we go. Let me go back to it. So the reason why I like open guard as a small opponent is I'm a very sensory person. I can feel everything you're doing. And you see he tries to leap over and I trap him back with my left leg. But with my right leg, I feel that his hand was posted on my shin and that's really slippery. So I immediately pushed that off. And I believe he probably thought I was running from him, but I was trying to suck him into a triangle choke. Not trying to be cocky. I feel like at this point, everyone knows I love triangle chokes, but I don't think he knew who I was. And the fact that he kept going for it. I mean, typically as a smaller person, you're not supposed to triangle choke large opponents like this. But you see, the moment I started reaching for my shin, if I could grab my shin, this is what I was thinking. I know that I can triangle choke this man. This is exactly what I'm going for. Because right now we're in the one in, one out scenario. But the moment I grab that shin, that is known as a trap triangle. And you're going to see the moment I grab my shin, at that moment I was thinking, oh my God, I can probably triangle choke this dude. And then here we go. You're going to see I reach over and then I grab my shin. And oh, yeah, 
this is when I was like, this is going to be epic if I can actually triangle choke him because this is breaking the rules. Now, one thing about big guys, and I know the more I get famous or whatever known, it's not going to be the case anymore. They're very overconfident. I'm sorry, big guys. I, I use this against you guys. And him bulldozing forward allowed me to capitalize on the biggest mistake he made. And yeah, I did smack his head. He, uh, <laughs> he put his forearm in my face and that was just a natural reaction. I didn't mean to do that. So let's continue from this point on. I felt his overconfidence. He probably felt he could stack into me, but where he messed up at is look at his elbow. Let's go back. This is where he messed up at. So like I said before, I'm a very, very sensory opponent. And you see, I'm trying to reach over, look at his right arm. That's what we're staring at, the elbow. I'm trying to reach over so I can grab his hand to pull his elbow across to my belly button. Because I was thinking to myself, if I could just get his right elbow on my stomach, or at least at the hip, then I will be able to do the triangle choke. But instead, what he does is I believe he gets a little maybe irritated and he starts moving for me. Now, there's going to be a, a moment in time where you're going to see he's going to post his left arm out. And the moment I felt him do that is when you're going to see me kick my left leg up to move his right elbow across my body. And I, I have it in slow motion so you guys can see. So here we go. Boom. It was at the same time that I did this. And that is when I was able to adjust and get the actual figure four. Look at my foot. You're going to see it go across. And once it's stitched up, look at that. Look at that right there. Boom. My foot stitched up. I immediately went for an arm bar. Now, this is my first time doing a triangle arm bar. Well, it was my first time doing a triangle arm bar in competition. I do it all the time at the gym. I teach it to the white belts in my gym. I usually say the slogan is when the triangle fails, the arm bar is there. And I gave him no chance. The moment I stitched up that triangle choke, while he's being choked, I immediately was trying to break his elbow. That's just, in my opinion, you should give uh, double whammy. That's all I can say. And him stacking up on his legs like how he was doing, I felt that he was going to explode up. And while he was trying to explode up, I was pulling his elbow. And hey, and like I said, don't wrestle with the big boys unless you want to be treated like one. <laughs> I got his respect. And that's one thing why I like doing absolute divisions. I want the respect of the bigger people. I think I have that little Napoleon complex. The ref was smiling the whole time. I have a little infamous name at Naga. I think he knew who I was. And yeah, that's what happened. I will actually let you guys see the full video now without any commentary. So thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. 
God damn.